Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, can you listen to me? Hello? Hello, students. Welcome to our English class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Okay, great to know. Welcome. So it's a good time. And uh, we're about to start a class. Also, I just want to congratulate you because the responsibility that most of the time you have in the class, and that's good, right? Just uh, getting ready to start a class and also practice, learn and maximize your skills because it's important. And uh, that's one of the things that we just need to reinforce all the time in class. So welcome. And I hope that you have had a great weekend. And it's always the necessary to, you know, you know, try to take a time to rest, you know, enjoy weekend and do some things that most of the time I want to do because we are working all the time and very busy. But the, the most valuable point of, point, point of this is that we are ready to, you know, to do our best and also to have enough energy to start this weekend the best way we can. That's something that we always like take into account for that. It also because the, uh, we always need to practice English. We need to work. We need to learn and also, you know, learn a lot. That's one of the things we need to do. So we are like seventh. We're, we're going to start. And also, I just want to, well, to first of all, talk about training. In the last class, we have the opportunity to talk about, you know, some kind of trainings. We just evaluate some jobs. We also talk about... Uh, what characteristics of these jobs, what requirements each job should have. And also we, as a team, we have the chance to uh, see some jobs. And also we saw some jobs and we have to see what kind of training do you recommend? What kind of trainings were recommendable for this kind of job? Uh, you as a group, you have the opportunity to discuss about what kind of training was recommendable for each um, group. So that was a very valuable activity because all of you could, you know, participate actively in the class. You could talk and you can express your ideas and thoughts in the class. And uh, that's what I said in the last time that, that we love when students participate actively. They always uh, do a great job in the communication skills. And uh, that's why the next level should be even better for that, because in every level we're learning something new, also enhancing our knowledge. So this is the point. Okay, so let's start now the class. I would like to ask you, are you ready? Yes, are you ready? Oh, do you listen to me? Okay, I want to ask um, if we can continue. If you had a kindness to say yes, we're ready for that. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good to see you and welcome to our English class today. Okay. Yes, teacher. You, okay, that's great. Okay, so let's start now with the class, with the activity. We have the first activity that we had to develop. And also we have today, as part of the responsibilities we have here in the class is that this section 15, we're talking about three weeks. Incredible, as the time has gone so fast, you can see also that we just have uh, three weeks of practicing motivation, work, and learning new vocabulary and expressions. This is a very interesting way. And today, uh, the last content for the second unit is um, the midterm review and practice. So that's mean that for this class, we're gonna have a short feedback of the last classes that we have had also with vocabulary and expressions. So, and also you need to conclude 
the metering of this corresponding to the second unit. So that's why you had to get into the platform and also work the exercises corresponding to this day specifically. So I hope you have a good luck and also be responsible to complete that part because it's necessary that you uh, uh, conclude this part. This is what we need to do. Okay, and also don't forget to have the camera on. I just want to congratulate Cifredo, Mirna, uh, Jose Carlos, uh, Juan Carlos, Nelson, that they have the camera on corresponding to the instructions given by ISO 4. Remember that is something that you had to fulfill since we started the, you know, this course that we have to, you know, participate actively and also have the camera on because we can see your participation, progress, and responsibilities for this course. That's why it's very necessary that we always have that part and follow the instructions given by ISO 4 because all the time they monitor what we are doing here in the class today. That's one of the points of this. And uh, let's see what happened here in this part. And I just want to share with you this um this one part of training. We have a listening exercise today. Let's see what happened. And also we have a conversation. This according to the conversation, well, what is the gentleman's destination? There are three destinations that you can see here in the in this part. Three interesting places that are very famous for different reasons. And according to listen, you have to be careful about this part. Number two, can you identify it when is the department departure time, date? We're talking about the date, right? Check uh, because it's very clear in the conversation. The number three is like, do you know what is the flight number uh, for the second part of the trip? So there isn't a specific number given in the conversation. So you have to be careful and also try to identify the words in that case. Well, then let's move on to the next one before. Uh, could you identify how long the men's lay lower between a flight is? So you can check, uh, for example, is an hour, less than two hours, or less than three hours. So you had to be very careful with listening. It's it, This conversation is pretty simple. I'm pretty sure that, that you will take like at least uh, three minutes to select the best answer for each part. And the last one is like, uh, the men ask for what? A special meet, early check-in, or aisle seat. So you had to be careful with that part. So in that case, I'm going to share with you around now the listening part. Okay, guys, I'm sending you right now the audio by our group. So I want you to check carefully and listen uh, the following, you know, conversation about that, you know, about this kind of flight or destination. And then we're going to take a short time to socialize the answers together. So let's check that part.
Okay, three more minutes, and then we will share the answers. So listen and check again the answers, and we're going to socialize each other. Okay, so let's um, socialize the answers and see what happened with the first one. So it was a very interesting uh, conversation. I would like to ask you guys, was easy or difficult this uh, conversation? Surprise me with the answer. So uh, how was it? Was it uh, easy or difficult to understand? Tell me. No answers? I believe a little difficult. A little difficult. Okay, thank you. Someone else opinion about this conversation? Yes, teacher, a little bit difficult to understand. Okay, thank you. Because it's a itinerary. Itinerary that's like <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, itiner itinerary. Itinerary. Yes, yeah. that's right. It was itinerary, and that, that is good. I mean, and at the end, it's like um a very strategical to have a, like difficult conversation because when practicing more about difficult conversations, the rest of conversation will, will become easier, you know, and that's why. Uh, meanwhile, we try to listen hard conversations. We try one time. And then one more time, if I, I don't understand, I can listen the third time the conversation, we can identify vocabulary that happens. So that's why it's really important to, you know, work with this kind of listening is because we get familiar with accent, vocabulary, pronunciations. Perhaps we won't understand some words, but I um, mean, you know, we get familiar with the accent, we get familiar with new expressions. Okay, uh, for, according to this one, according to the conversation, what's the gentleman's destination? Uh, which one, according to the audio, the number one? Helsinki, Finland. Finland, yeah. yes, yes. The number two, Helsinki. That's right. That's for number one. Great job in that case. Number two, can you identify when is the departure date? According to the conversation, the twenty third. Uh, the twenty third. Mm hmm. What do you think? That that's twenty third. Do you agree, guys, with him? Yes, to share. I I heard twenty third. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> the thing is that they mentioned that they leave at the twenty third, but then the travel agents tell him that the price on the twenty third is like two times the price, so it's more expensive. At the beginning of the conversation, they mentioned the 23rd will be the date. But when they see the price, that the price is higher, the double, the person changes the opinion. He says, like, the 22nd will be the best choice for that. So in conclusion, the 22nd is the correct the pay, departure date. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that happens especially when, fly, when there are some flies because depending on dates, the... The prices of the tickets are 
second, two or three, four times more expensive than the original departure date. And there are some days that is cheaper depending the time, the season, if there is any festivity or something like that. So that happened with that man in the conversation. Number three, look at this one. Um, do you know what is the flight number for the second part of his trip? 90? That's correct. Yes. It's um, very simple because they mentioned about a flight 1070 and also they talk about the flight 90 from, from the, well, United States to that country. Number four. Could you identify how long the men's laid over between a fly east? What do you have for this in number four? Um, let's talk about a time. So what could you identify in this uh, conversation? I'm not sure this is less than two hours, maybe. You say less than two hours, okay? Uh, guys, do you agree with her? Uh, do you think it's not uh, less than two hours? What do you think? Agree or disagree? Yes. Okay, no idea? One, two, and three. In that case, it's less than two hours. That's correct. Congratulations, because it leaves the, from that place at one specific hour and arrives um, specifically um, like 4.35 p.m. And then there are some time dimensions, so less than two hours, according to the conversation. And the last one, the man asked Ford what? A special meal? A vegetarian special meal? meal. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, two students say the same answer. That's correct. So they talk about um, a special meal. So that's important, especially in the fly. You know, you had to request delicious food in that case. So congratulations for this um, practice, as I said before. And always look for it, um, try to, you know, practice listening. You can try as much as you can in order to be familiar with expressions, vocabulary, words, and different things. So if you want to try, also use subtitles or be in contact with native English. And also you can learn a lot by listening. Let's continue with the next slide. Okay, let's continue with the next uh, profile in uh, of different jobs. So you can help me according to your personal experience and also the context right here in the country um, because you have an estimate about the money. So we're talking about manager and um, according to your experience, uh, what is the main, the, the job description of a manager? What a manager does? Um, well, we're talking about general because there are different kinds of managers. But if we summarize the most important points about managers, what could be the, the most common um, jobs activities? So what are the activities or the main tasks developed by managers? So you have the freedom to, to get some ideas and also work in that. So I will give you a couple of minutes uh, right now. You will have the freedom to talk and talk about the answer. For example, a manager, what is the description? Okay, the manager is a person who does this, this, and this. Working hours, how many hours? Most of the time, the managers, uh, you know, work between um, seven, eight hours, nine hours, according to what you know, because it can vary depending on what kind of company, the time and schedule. But give me an estimate, not in a specific uh, date uh, information because we don't know about that. What could be the salary uh, of a manager? Also could vary because we don't know. Could be high, could be low. We don't know about that. But investigate like the most common or what you have heard. 
what do they like most about their jobs? So in that case, we want to answer this uh, question because we, we will have to ask a person who, who works in that field. So that's why these uh, won't be taken into account because uh, we will have to ask someone about this, this job, right? That this is what we are going to do, okay? Okay, so I will give you in a brief way. Sorry, go back. I will give you a um, couple of minutes to uh, check the most valuable information. I won't give you too much time because we're going to be doing it together, but so you can also have an idea about the descriptions, what a supervisor does, what an accountant does, what a lawyer does, what a company director and a trainer does. So, and also the working hours is how many hours uh, the person or the professional works. Uh, an example, um, what a manager does, uh, what can you tell me? Give me some ideas about what a manager does. Who wants to, you know, break the ice and tell me about this? Uh, yeah. Good evening, teacher. I I want Hi. to get opinion. Oh, first, yeah, tell me. Uh, I I think a uh, uh, main task uh, could be uh, achieve the strategy or objective uh, of the company. Also, uh, uh, mm, working in coordinate, coordinate uh, all different process of the company. Oh, thank you so much. That, well, that was a very complete description. That was good. Yes. Well, let's see then. Um, in uh, the working hours, how many hours do you think um, a, a manager works during the day? Uh, in this case, for me, the, this, this schedule is open. It's open, teacher. <laughs> so, yeah. But we need to put a, a, a specific. Yeah, because yeah, because I mean we don't know exactly about the the hours. Do you have an estimate, especially where you work? Because in some jobs they could work like eight hours a day because that's the most common. But some others will say, you know what, they work around eight hours or six hours. So according to your experience of what you have heard in your yeah. jobs. For me, the most common is uh, don't give description about the hours. Uh, give a description about the work, the job is uh, from Monday to Friday. Yes. Okay. But the normal hours in El Salvador, I think this 44 hour per week is eight hour per day. This is the normal, but the manager. Yes. It depends on the, the, the company, but this is the, the law in El Salvador, I think. Exactly. So that depends on the, well, so eight hours is like the most common, right? That's the, the normal, you know, schedule. But there are some, perhaps some managers that they will take more time in a company. They are, well, they are taking last uh, extra hours. So the company paid um, the extra hours. And also there are some other managers like they work half and half. Eight hours one and the other one is eight hours depending if 24 seven the company or depending. But you can have an, like an estimate of hours.
Okay, two more minutes, and then we will share this information, and uh, we will share what we know, what we have investigated about every uh, position. Okay, so let's see now in the, well, you have investigated, we have a manager and also, what about the salary? What, it is like the most common salary or like the lower or the highest. So you can also compare about each one. What about supervisor? We will go with the supervisor. What is the job description or main task that you have investigated or you know about supervisor? Who wants to break the ice and talk about this information? The principal activity of the supervisor is uh, maintain the workflow of their employees in the areas. And ensures the safe the legal work environment okay okay thank you so much uh for the description i don't know if there is someone else that would like to give more details about the supervisor or something else that would like to highlight related to this main task I would like to uh, ask some... oh, sorry. Uh, who goes first? <laughs> sorry, okay. Uh, monitoring employee performance to ensure maximum productivity. Uh, he has to guide the team through a daily work activities or projects. Um, overseeing the daily performance of the group that he is in charge of. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, someone else was saying something. I think Mirna, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, I found that this setting goals for performance and deadlines in ways that complete with companies' plans and visions and monitoring employee productivity and providing constructive feedback and coaching. I wow, so, well, there, there are a lot of things that a supervisor has to do. I would like to ask, do we have a supervisor in this class? No? Do we have a supervisor in, the, in this class? No. 
No. Okay, so we don't have a supervisor. And do you think that this job could be difficult or not? What do you think? Give me your point of view about this position. In, in my opinion, teacher, uh, a, supervisor, uh, a supervisor is the it's a position very difficult, very stressful because uh, this position has to work and handle and manage uh, direct the operator, direct the people. And this position ha also has to, uh, he's, he's a contour, he's a contour uh, about his empl employees. The difference is, for example, in uh, indirect uh, position, uh, the job is difficult too, but uh, depend a lot uh, myself, yes. But uh, work well, uh, direct with the operator or, or the or other personnel uh, is is very difficult, stressful. Yeah, thank you. thank you so much. Yes, I, I could say that these kind of jobs could be a little bit challenging because w the company requires results. If a good manager, manager is like supervising, monitoring and guiding the group, because one of the time they supervise a team or employees, a specific employees. So it could be a little bit challenging for them because the numbers should be perfect or at least they should have good numbers. If you are following the metrics, uh, especially of the team, if not, the supervisor is like checking in a supervised uh, the valuable details of the team. So like a manager, but they supervised the quality in some other area. So I think it could be challenging, but at the same time, interesting and important for the company. It's a good position. What about accountant? Uh, what do you know about accountants? What are the job descriptions of the main task? What about accountant? Yes. I, I found that an accountant is helped to analyze financial data to make that a driving business decision, for example. They ensure that company complies with all the government rules and regulation also. This is the role, I think, that an accountant. Okay, that is... Uh... Well, I have some friends that are accountant and well, they do a lot other, of things. Yes, tell me. Other, other tasks uh, are manage the cash flow, uh, preparation of the finance, fun, finance uh, how do you say finance? Fi financial. Financial. financial statement, projection and occurring variation, vari variations, variations, production okay. and occurring Variations, variations. I don't know how do you say. Variation. Also, uh, this position is responsible the pay, the pay, pay, the payroll. Okay. That's. Okay, so we didn't talk about the, the, I'm sorry, we didn't talk about the salary. An estimate of the salary, what do you think? Uh, for the supervisor, what, what would be the, you know, the salary or what do you know, do you know about that? I think it depends on the period teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah, and also yeah, I agree with Osman, it depends on the company, but maybe the range that supervisor is, maybe is 80, 80 under to the yes. range to two thousand maybe because it's a it's depend that the company inter is an international company the salary is is higher but it's a national company maybe it's eighty hundred per month I think. For example, in our in our company, the range is between 
600 uh, to 800. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you so much. Well, so how many, uh, if we move on to an accountant, we're, we're talking about accountant, how many hours are like the, the estimate? Well, this position, see, this position has to work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> more than more than eight hours a day? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I say that because uh, my coworker uh, in, in this company, he uh, he told me uh, he work uh, from Monday to Friday at uh, six thirty a.m. to five or six p.m. Uh, all all week. Also the Saturday and Sunday and and Sunday he has to uh, he has to work also depend. With the if the pay if the pay uh, is um, a specific date, uh, he has to work uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. As we say in Spanish, like the cortes, they took like the last days before uh, of concluding the month. They will take uh, yes. extra time. So that would be a little bit challenging, definitely. All right. Thank you so much for that. What about a lawyer? So we're, uh, we're going to uh, be brief in this part. A lawyer, what is the main task or the job descriptions? What do you know about a lawyer? What a lawyer does or so what are the main tasks they, they develop? Uh, the, the lawyer apply. Sorry. No, go ahead. Jose Bernardo, sorry. Uh, the lawyer apply the law to a specific cases, research legal issues, prepare legal documents, and our cases in court. Okay. Thank you. The lawyer advise and represent clients or companies and and or legal uh, thing that communicate with clients, colleagues, or others involved in case. And the companies, the they are the 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 people that have the legal contract. Or when you when you leave the company, maybe they give the the finiquito, I don't know. <laughs> and it's the the they keep the rules, the, the rules and, and the regulation for individuals or the company as well. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So it is a very interesting job too. And um, what about the working hours? What do you see? Uh, how can you evaluate the, the working hours for the lawyer? What can you tell me about it? What can you tell me about it? So about the hour, the working hours. In my uh, opinion, I think that it's a contact because they not have a, a schedule because imagine the case that they have to defend or they have to study the case in in yeah. the time that is not the the schedule time, I think. I schedule. imagine but I'm not sure. Yeah, the schedule. Yeah. The schedule, yeah. The schedule, yes. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do we have a an yeah, do we have a lawyer in this class? No. Okay. What about the company directors? What are the main tasks? A company director.
avoid the conflict of interest, uh, maintain the the strategy of the fulfillment goal. Thank you so much. Any other um, ideas about this a company? Me, right? teacher. Yes, tell me. Tell uh, me. They are in charge of the budget of the company, uh, company budget, uh, and finally they take uh, the decisions to to annual budget, and they. Mm, I'm not sure. They guide the company just that thank you so much this is a very interesting you know position i know that it has a huge responsibility in the company because the company director is the ones who represents everything so he has to make sure that the company is, is moving in the right direction or following the goals that they have established since the very beginning and also making sure that the production has become successful. So that's why they had to, you know, have a very, very challenging, um, you know, position. But I'm pretty sure that people who are in this position, they enjoy it a lot. And they work a lot uh, doing their best in order to reach the goals for the company. It is a good, it is a good uh, job, obviously. And there are some people who, you know, they get ready. They study a lot for getting this position. And overall, having the experience, because if you have experience, you can reach everything that possible. So experience can open a lot of doors. If not, you can also get that in the process. And what about a trainer? What about a trainer? What can you tell me? What are the main tasks of a trainer? What about trainer? Do you, do you identify uh, the description about what they do? A teacher in yes, in, for in my case, in my in my in my company, a trainer has a different functions like uh, compared to other companies for example a trainer has to work uh, teach the teach the method uh, for the operator uh, also this trainer has to improve the uh, efficiency the this operator yes also the, the has to uh, measure the measure the time measure the cycle uh, uh, of the metal. Only that. Thank you so much. Yes. Any other comment about that? Let's see. So remember that the trainer, most of the time, they are in charge of guiding and supporting and teaching uh, new employees in the company. And also people who will work there, so they should know everything about the products, about the company, and uh, know about numbers, everything. So the trainers are very important because after then, the new employees will learn a lot about productions, work and everything, depending what kind of things are doing in the company. So the trainers are, are very important because they represent the company for others and they can help others to understand 
the goals, the production, the functions, the methodology, everything that the company have has. To. So that's why it's important to focus about that. Okay, so let's continue with the next activity because it's a review. Don't forget that we finished what is what we call the midterm exam. So you have to you have to join the platform and do the exercises corresponding to the third class because uh, today at nine I will see your results and in support tomorrow morning we'll check your results. That's why and uh, we always say that you had to respect the schedules respect the time of the homework, uh, the activities on the platform. So you had to work with that. It's the responsibility that we need you to do. And um, the midterm has to be done for today because tomorrow early, they will check that all of you have concluded the midterm's activities. Well, let's continue with the next exercise. This is a review of prior classes. Look at this one, per conjunctions, match the sentences how this to make a complete sentence. For example, it says both Carlitos, uh, both Carlitos, and um, in which one do you think could be the complement? And we have uh, not, uh, not only do we want to go, and either Pedrito will have to work more hours. That story was new students who do will not only study hard, Number six, in the end, we had he had to choose. Number seven, sometimes it is. And number eight, I would love to take. And uh, I want you to do it because later I will give you the answers. So I want you to do it first with your, uh, what you had to do is to match. And the other possible answers is like, but we also have enough money on neither true nor realistic. Not only wise to listen to your parents, but you know, so you can see the influence. And and I are coming next week, either his career or his body. Both my laptop and my cell phone phone. But I'll see use their instinct if they do not, so you see they compliment. Or we will have to hire somebody new. So what I want you to do is to match the sentences. How best to make a complete sentence? You can trace a line. You can number them. The number one is the number one here. Number two is number two here. So I want you to do that. So I'm just going to give you a, a specifically uh, four minutes to, to do it, to complete it. And then we're going to check the answers together. That's what we have to do. Um, before that we move, I would like to ask you uh, if you have any questions about what we had to do. Uh, do we have questions about what we had to do? No? Hello there. No question, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, meanwhile, you work on this. I will uh, check the attendance list and we will pass the first one. So I, I will take a picture in this and then I will be calling your names to check the list.
Okay, so let's see. The, um, if you listen your name, please uh, don't forget to say present. Activate the microphone and say it. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. And Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Uh, Joshman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin. It's not here. Present. Oh, okay. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, Ra Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sofrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Manuel. It's not. Okay. So I just want to ask for the Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Okay. Absent. Okay. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, guys, with the exercise? Yes, yes. Yes, no, maybe. Almost 50 50. Could be. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So, but I need to make sure. So, you're ready, right? You ready to share? Yes. Uh, Sefrido? More than ready. More or less. But it's already done, or you're still look matching the sentences? Mm, I really don't, but I have probably a couple of doubts. <laughs> don't worry about it. We're going to check. That's the main goal of this. Uh, what about Osman? Are you ready? I guess so, teacher. I finished, but I don't sure about the correct answer. Okay. Don't worry about it. So the most important is the most of you have already matched the statements. Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's cool. Fine. So let's do it, right? So we're gonna check uh, which one could be the best answer. We have uh, the number one. So it says uh, both Carlitos. And what do you think could be the um, the best answer I, in this case? Uh huh. Yeah, I, 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 I um, coming next week. Yeah, that's correct. Congratulations. That is the best sentence in that case, right? That is good, that is good, that is good. Okay, next one. Number two, not only do we want to go, mm -hmm. what do you think? Tell me about it. In my opinion, teacher, I think that is, but we also have enough money. Okay. That's. I agree with Mirna. Hey, you're an expert, guys. You're you are doing a, a very interesting job, right? That is correct. So in that case, that is the best answer. Um, so you can check here this one. So the, not only we do do we want to go, but we also have enough money. So lucky person, they are ready for that. Next, um, 
um, either Pedrito will have to work more hours. Imagine when you're the boss in the company says, oh, I'm sorry, but I, I need you to work any extra hours because we need more productions and we need more employees. Uh, so there are some companies that they require employees to work extra hours. But also there are some mothers uh, that they like tell you, you know what, you have to stay more hours. In your case, I would like to ask you, do you work extra hours in your company or not? In my company, it's, it's rarely. Okay, so you don't work extra hours? No, no. Okay. Sadly, yes. <laughs> and uh, hey, but Nelson, more money. Come on. <laughs> ah, extra mile. <laughs> okay. Hey, Nelson, I mean, it's mandatory that you, you work extra hours or is <laughs> as um optional that, you know what, you can, uh, would you like to work extra hours because we need more um, employees for the production? Is optional or you have uh, to work as mandatory? Mm, it's the sense is like to a uh, mandatory oh okay you had to work extra hours there is no choice yeah okay yeah in that case is different okay anyway <laughs> anyway yeah it's because there are some companies that they give employees the opportunity to decide if they want to work extra hours so it's up to them so people say, you know what? I want to work extra hours because I need to get more money at the end of the month. So they take the time for that. Okay, number three. Um, either, uh, well, so either Pedrito will have to work more hours. So what do you think? Or well, we will have it here, somebody, no? Wow. I agree with you. But, but this sounds very rude. So, yeah, so it's very, very rude, right? That somebody tells you, no, I don't want to work. Okay. So either Pedrito will have to work extra, uh, have to work more hours, or we will have to hire somebody new, right? Maybe to work the extra hours or maybe fire Pedrito. So there are two choices in that case. So you, or you work the these hours extra hours so maybe we, we can hire someone else to work those hours okay number four that story was that story what what is that tell me about it that story was not only with the listening to your parents, but also in stairs. Mm -hmm. That is very simple. That, that is actually a very short uh, statement. For me, teacher, neither true nor realistic. That's For a me, story neither was... true nor realistic, too. Yes, okay. that is correct. Okay, so that story was neither true nor realistic. I mean, they didn't believe the person about the story, especially for those who, um, you know, for some circumstances of life, they need to ask permission because they came late to work. I'm sorry for coming late. I have something to do. And I was like trying to do some stuff. And, you know, that was not realistic. <laughs> Next, new students, uh, the new students who do well, not only study hard. What do you think? Uh, next one. And new students who don't do well, not only study hard. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, but also use their instinct, instincts if they do not know the answer. Excellent. Yes, that is correct. So new students who don't well, not only study hard, but also use their instincts if they do not know the answers. Yeah, that is correct. That is the, the best answer in that case for this exercise. 
next. Coming up next. And number six, in the end, he had to choose. Uh, what do you think? Either his career or his hobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes, it is. Okay, so in the end, he had to choose the, either his career or his hobby. So, like a choice in that case in the sentence. Let's see what color. I right, want to use yellow. Yellow submarine. Number seven. Sometimes it is. Not only wise to listen to your parents, but also interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. The I same. agree with that Okay, yeah, that is the answer. Um, well, the, 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 now we have to define the context. Okay, but the information is, yeah, actually that is the one. So sometimes it is not only wise to listen to your parents, but also interesting. So it's important to listen to your parents because they have more experience and they know a lot and they can give you advice about life because they have lived things that perhaps we haven't lived before. That's something like that. And the last one, I would love to take... What? what? What would you like to take? The last. Mm -hmm. Last one, teacher. Both my laptop and my cell phone on holiday. Yes. It's this one, right? And we have completed this uh, pair of conjunctions, right? The most important is to match them and also try to understand each part of the sentence. So that is good. So I would love to take um, both my laptop and my cell phone on holiday. Well, that's cool. That is interesting. Well, by the way, people nowadays, they are like talking about the the Black Friday. I mean, here in the country is like very common. My question is, it, it is still the Black Friday? What is going to happen? Or it happened the Black Friday? What do you know about that? Because I remember this in November, but I, I forgot about the, the time. When is the Black Friday in El Salvador? Or it happened? All well, November, I think. No <laughs> in El Salvador. November? Uh, yes, this week. <laughs> oh, oh, this... Also October. Oh, this week. Oh, it's October. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because it's a marketing now. Yeah, so but the, but but the original in US is this week is the third mm -hmm. is the for uh Tuesday mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. yeah is the last Friday the last uh, in the Friday in the no. <laughs> Okay. In general, in general. In general. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. in El Salvador, they beginning as a Cifrido say in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, some companies like Walmart initiate the black friday or the black weekend or black black whatever in october so black, black orange, <laughs> black orange. Yeah, exactly. you don't really know it's still halloween independence day or orange christmas weekend. because the marketing say no it's black friday <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah oh, well. i imagine that yes so they hear it also i remember that after the date Companies wanted to like, they, you know, established some, you know, kind of opportunities for amazing. customers to customers to like, to, to, to get more days, for example, the black weekend. And after that, the black weekend. So in the next week, the black weekend. So people think that everything, they, there are some promotions, offers, some break games. I don't know about that, but yeah, I, I was thinking about the black Fridays. Okay. So if products are cheaper, we don't know about that. So we need to see how the products were uh, previously. What was the real price of that? Okay, let's continue with the next exercise. The per conjunction squeeze number two. Combine the following sentences into one sentence using the per conjunctions, both and not only, but also either or or neither nor. So... See, I want you to uh, make one sentence using um, these preconjunctions. 
The first says we could fly or we could go by train. Paola will have to study hard and she will have to concentrate to do well on the exam. Daniel is not here. Francisco is in another city. So I want you to uh, join or match or combine the, the following sentences into one using this one. So I will give you a couple of minutes and then we're going to sh share the answers. I will be typing the answers so you will be comparing. In that case, I will be giving you the answers and you will see, okay, this sentence is good. I was very close, so I did it in this way. So I think it's correct, so we can check that. So let's do it.
Um, are you ready? Yes? Not yet. Okay, are you ready now? Or not yet? Is still working? Yes, teacher, it's still working. Okay, if there are some words that maybe there are like two sentences that you um you can also eliminate one part uh, because of the context.
Okay, now ready? Yes. Yes, ready? Tell me, students. Yes, it sure could be. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so let's check here the, um, the answers. So I, I need to make sure that all of you have, you know, already finished exercises so we can also can compare. Well, first of all, it was a very, you know, interesting statement. So we had to, you know, practice. We need to make sure that we are, you know, working in, in the exercises as it is. And let me check here. One second. Give me one second, please. See? One moment, please. Okay, we're going to use the chat, so please uh, make sure that you can see this chat and the first sentence to say that we could fly and we can go by train. The simple also we, we can use um, either. Um, we could fly or we could go by train. So you have this sentence, look at this. Either we could uh, we could fly or we could go by train. So we have two choices in the first sentence that we can also match. Let's see the number two. It says that uh, Paola will have to study hard and she will have to concentrate to do well on the exams. So there's a context. In a briefly way, so we can say that uh, not only, not only will she, uh, we're gonna try here, one second. Not only um, will she have to study hard, but she will also, she will also have to concentrate uh, to do well on, on the exams. So we can also check um, the possible answer, the possible way so we can, not only she will have to study hard, but she will also have to concentrate to do well on the exams. And we have the number two, uh, the way that we can answer this sentence using uh, not only, but, right. Look at the number three, so you can also check. Number three, it says that, um, uh, Daniela is not here and Francisco is in another city. So that's mean that they are not here. So we're gonna use uh, Nader.
So in a briefly way, so we can say that they are not, so Daniela is not here and Francisco is in our city. So it's not here either. So a good way could be neither Daniela nor Francisco is here. So we can uh, summarize in a briefly way this um, sentence saying that and none of them is here and we use the singular form is as the exercises we developed in the in the previous classes let's see the number four is that it says let's see the next one uh the speaker will not confirm the story and the speaker will not deny the story so in that case we can say that the speaker the speaker will neither confirm nor deny this story. So the speaker will, will neither confirm nor deny the story. And you can check this one. And that will be the number for it. Look at this sentence. That is the best way to to say something in a negative form. So we can check this part of the sentence. Next, let's see the next one. We're talking about, you know, diabetes, right? So we see diabetes is dangerous, it's a dangerous disease and cancer is a dangerous illness. So how can we summarize this sentence? We can say both. Diabetes and cancer are danger illnesses. So we can say that boy diabetes and cancer are dangerous illnesses. So the number five is in this way. So you can compare the answers you have with the um, exercises we have here in the number five. Look at the next one with uh, Dianara. So we say Dianara loves traveling. And also James wanted to go around the world. So in, in conclusion, Bo both uh, loves traveling because the James wants to go around the world so in conclusion, uh, she wants to travel like Dianara too. So in that case, we're going to summarize the sentence in a brief way that is acceptable. This one. Oh, um, both Dianara and, and Jane. Love traveling. Okay, so we can also check this one. Both Diana and Jane love traveling because they like traveling. So we can summarize the sentence. Okay, this one. And we see the next one, the number seven. We're going to talk about it might rain tomorrow, it might snow tomorrow. So compare the answer. So we could say that it might both, it might both rain and snow tomorrow. Okay, so you can check the answers in this way. It might both rain and snow tomorrow. So you can see the sentence, which one could be the best choice to match. Look at this one. And the last one, we say that, it's, that smoking isn't good for your heart and drinking isn't good for your heart health either. So we're gonna be uh, matching. We're going to use neither, neither smoking nor uh, drinking 
neither smoking nor drinking is good. For your health. Look at this one. And so you can also compare the last sentence. Uh, neither smoking nor drinking is good for your health. So we can uh, summarize using the break conjunctions um, the best way in that case, right? So remember that those kind of uh, exercises uh, using the break conjunctions, uh, the most important is try as much as we can these exercises to be familiar, especially when we are comparing things. We are combining in a negative way, in a positive way, comparing, so it's important to work in this point. Okay, we're gonna take a short time to check the attendance list one more time, and we will move on to the pre to the last exercises. Let's see here. Questions, Sifredo? Oh, good, no worries. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's check the attendance list here, and we're gonna try. Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. And Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Ernesto. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present. Uh, Jose Bernardo López. Present. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernard. Present. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Ay. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Teacher. Eh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman. Present. Present teacher. Ok, Ra Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Sifrida Ernesto Gomez. Present. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present. Okay. Let's see. We're going to go back to the main session. We're gonna compare the last exercises before concluding the class. Okay, much better here. All right, let's see the last. Okay, so we're going to do this one and we had to look at the following word and match it with its definition. For example, it'll chit chat, maternity leaves, to bounce ideas of someone to wear someone out, to clock in, to make a concession, paid on pro rate basis. What is a freelancer? What is commute to be left on your own devices? So I will give you um, specifically a couple of minutes to check the, the vocabulary. And if not, I we're gonna be giving a feedback to conclude this exercise. Try to identify the statements to, to match them and see what we can see, right? So let's start now. Remember that this vocabulary is about training if related to company, training, working activities.
okay, because of the time, we're gonna try to like um, check or answers the ones you have identified. For example, the idle chit chat, uh, what do you think would be the number one? Yes, uh, like it all uh, chit chat. What do you think could be? Give me an answer, don't worry. Um, if that is not what we expected, but we try. Number one. Good night, teacher. Yes. A talk that is in informal and irrelevant to work. That is correct, excellent. That is a letter age yes that is it'll chit chat it's, it's talking about irrelevant or in a way informal okay maternity leave what is a maternity leave did you find maternity leave letter d uh -huh. a period of time a woman takes takes off work due to the birth of a child that is correct that is letter d Great job in that case. Let's see with the number three to bounce ideas of someone. Letter J, to share ideas with someone in order to get feedback on them. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this one, the number three. Yes, that is correct. In that case, it's to share ideas with someone in order to get the feedback. So we, we, we can learn from that. So this is the number three. Great job. And number four, what do you have for the number four? Tell me, tell me. The uh, letter F to make someone very tired. Uh-huh. Yes. Fantastic. That is good. That is good. Okay, to clock in. What is to clock in? To record the time to begin work? Yes. It's to record time you begin to work. That is the clocking. Excellent. We will continue with the next one, number six. To make a concession. Letter G, to give a lot of something in order to end an argument or conflict. Yes. Letter G, that is the correct one for the number six. Great job. Next, let's see the number seven. Number seven, uh, to pay your pro rate basis. In that case, the number seven is the letter E, to calculate according to how many hours you work. That is to pay it on a pro rata basis. That is letter E. And to finish to the number eight, a freelancer. What is a freelancer? Letter I. Person who sells. Mm -hmm. A person, yeah, who sells their services or work by hour or day. That is a freelancer. Great job. Let's see with the number nine, a commute. What is a commute? Letter A. Uh-huh. Regular journey between work and home. Yes, in that case, the commute is a regular journey between work and home. That is letter A. A commute is letter A. And let's see, before concluding, then... Number 10, to be left in your own devices. What is that? Yes, letter B. Yes. To be allowed to decide what to do by yourself. That is correct. That is letter B, to be allowed to decide what to do by yourself. That is great job, to be left in your own de devices. Okay, guys, thank you so much for the work. It was a great job. And I just want to congratulate you for the time and effort. And don't forget to work in the, in the last exercises related to the midterm because tomorrow we'll see the results. So thank you for the participation in the activity in the class. So have a beautiful night and you're dismissed.
Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Good Thank night. you, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye-bye.